Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Loop. All week this week, we're looking at the book of Ruth and we're learning that our character in life really does matter. Yesterday, we talked about loyalty. Today, I want to talk to you about work ethic. If you read the story of Ruth, you will see that Ruth and her mother-in-law, Naomi, have come across some really hard times in life. Their husbands have both died and they are sticking together as they try to survive a famine that has fallen on the land. These two ladies hear that there is a barley harvest in Bethlehem, and so they travel to that spot in the world hoping to find food just to survive. One day, Ruth says to her mother-in-law, I'm going to go out into the fields while the harvest is taking place, and I'm going to see if they will let me pick up the leftover grain that just falls to the ground. She gets permission, and she starts working to pick up as much of the leftovers as she possibly can. As she's working, a man named Boaz shows up and asks, what's the deal with that young woman out there? The overseer of the field responds in Ruth chapter 2, verse 7 by saying, She came into the field and has remained here from morning until now, except for a short rest in the shelter. When Boaz hears that, he goes to Ruth and says, I want you to stay here with the other women who work for me. Her work ethic paid off in a big way, not just for her, but also for her mother-in-law, Naomi. Now, I know in our world today, work is typically seen as a four-letter word, but it's not a bad word. People who have a great work ethic in life, they are successful. But the opposite is also true. In fact, there's a law in life. Anything that doesn't work is either fixed or thrown away. It's not just true of things. It's true of people as well. So let me ask you, How's your work ethic? Are you the kind of person who fails to meet expectations? You barely meet expectations or you always exceed expectations. Don't just do what people expect of you. Jesus would say, go the extra mile.